Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the road to random. We are on one hell of a run. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games unbeaten. We've won the last five. Danny Boy has scored in each of the last five too. So he's not playing today. Burgess Hill at home in the league. What's the league table look like? Okay then, as you can see, we are second in the league. Leyston, who have gone top, we absolutely demolished them 5-0 a few games ago. So confidence is high. We can go back top with a win today at home to Burgess Hill. Danny Boy, top of the goal scoring charts with 14 at the moment. Also the best player rating, which is impressive. Although Dumarka is closing in on him. Looks like a decent player. Let's have a look. Not bad stats, especially for the level. Didn't show up against us, so that worked out quite well for us. So, as I mentioned, we absolutely destroyed Leyston after the uh, game against Ultranham. We destroyed Leyston. Danny Boy got four. Four goals for Danny Boy. We, we followed that up with a hard-fought 2-1 win over Kinkling Town. It was a difficult game, actually, but Jesse won last penalty and Danny Boy again scoring. Meant we could get the win. They pulled a goal back and it was a bit tasty. But we won the game and that's what matters. Okay then, in just three days we play Stockport County in the FA Cup. So I've had to make some changes today. Danny Boy is on the bench. That may be a mistake with an 8.5 last five games rating. But I'm going to play him on the bench. Andy Parrish is also on the bench. As is Anthony Price and Jesse wallace All four drop down to the bench. Jordan Smith also is at the squad. Eve is given a chance in goal. See how he does. Um, Tom Brunt comes in at left back. He's going to be given an opportunity. Evans, Sam Evans in midfield takes Price's position, Maradona comes in on the right wing and I'm giving Luke McCormick a chance up front, he hasn't really been given much of an opportunity since signing so this is his chance. Burgess Hill at home, the first of two games in the episode, let's see how this one goes. So this is a real chance for Maradona, Evans and McCormick in particular to really show me what they can do because McCormick in particular has got a tough job of displacing Danny Boy, at the moment he's a backup at best. Um, but games like this are important. If he can get a few goals today and, and be the match winner for us, then he will start to ask the question whether we should change formation. He takes a free kick here. It's Jones. He's going the wrong way here, Jones. Come on, Joey, where are you going? Left, right, turn Pasley. Pasley to McCormick again. Nice turn of pace, McCormick into the penalty area, and that's a splendid finish. What did I just say about Luke McCormick having to Give us an option up front. He's done just that there. Wonderful goal. And we've got a highlight straight away. McCormick flicks it onto Rooney. He gets control of it. Hacked clear as far as away as Joey Jones and Maradona now on the right works. He got to offer. Maradona's cross in and Dorba is there to collect comfortably. Can't imagine that's the highlight. There's got to be more. Jones has won the header. Here's Wiltshire now. Wiltshire for Burgess. Spalding. Jones has won it again and Rooney's onto it. Bit of a pinball in midfield. Sam Evans finally getting a touch. Rooney White to Maradona. Maradona skinning his man and getting a cross in. McCormick's volley. It's 2-0. It's 2 in 3 minutes for Luke McCormick. And he is doing exactly what I asked of him. Look at that pace from Maradona. Skinned in. This is what we wanted from Maradona all season. He hasn't really produced a good so far, but he's done well there. And it's a simple volley for McCormick, really. He's found the space. He's on the mark. It's 2-0. And this is could be an easy easy game Danny Boy who yeah no, no he's still important that's a bad pass and Trevor Tre Trelaven Ross Trelaven maybe I think his name is has pulled one back for Burgess Hill what's your model doing there come on it's schoolboy stuff he didn't stand a chance it's a tidy little finish actually it's a goal back for Burgess just as I said it looks like it's going to be easy we had more highlights in the opening 20 minutes than we did in the last episode. Maradona loses out to Spalding and his friend back. That's a hell of a name for a centre back. Waddle intercepts, that's better from centre back. And then Maradona again on the right, coming inside. Diego Maradona to Rooney to McCormick for a hat trick, and that's a great finish again. Luke McCormick has scored a hat trick in 23 minutes. Wow. That is a messy scent to me, that is. Great work from Maradona to Rooney. Nice passing from Rooney again and McCormick. It's, it's a really well taken goal. He's asking a question. Um, it's a corner to them. 
I did that as far as Mulrooney Skinner. Past three intercepts and McCormick's onto it. He's all on his own. He might need a hand though. He's away on the right. Luke McCormick's gone all the way through. And it's Dover who's had to make a good save. A wonderful run from Luke McCormick. It's Maradona to go and take the corner from the right. It's a good one towards McCormick. It's hacked away. Smith mops up the left winger. We haven't saw much of it because everybody... Oh, it's a great ball. It's a great ball. McCormick took too long really to bring it down by looks of it. Evans now, the chance is still there. Maradona on the right, gets away, swings in across, and McCormick's volley is beautiful. It's four for Luke McCormick. It's four for Whiteley. What a performance. Danny Boy doesn't deserve to be dropped, but neither does McCormick, really. It's another highlight. Evans flicks it on. McCormick again. What a game he's having into Rooney, and Rooney's fired wide. A good chance there for Rooney. Dorber's goal kick, more highlights in this first half. What a game this has been. Pastley, all the way back to Eve. Eve getting a touch now, the goalkeeper. Up towards McCormick, Pierce intercepts. Curtis is there. It's a bad pass though, McCormick races onto it. Can he have five? Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Luke McCormick hits the crossbar. Half time fast approaching. Nelson whips it in. He's to the back post and Pastley had to hack away. Heads away again on the second attempt. Wiltshire follows it up. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Harris on the left. Good cross in. Headed away by Waddle as far as Pierce. Harris again. He's flicked on at the near post and Burgess Hill Town have pulled another goal back. Jack Curtis for a good header at the near post. He's sixth of the season. And there's goals everywhere in this game for some reason. And there's still another 45 minutes to go. Maradona's away again on the right. Brilliant from Diego Maradona. He's got a cross in and McCormick does have his fifth. This is a partnership between them two that's been brilliant so far. Maradona has three assists. Luke McCormick is having a 10 rating so far. Five goals. Incredible. Pastley wins it back. Maradona now. What a run again from Diego Maradona. Starting to live up to his namesake here. To cross in. And it's another for McCormick. It's again the third time that that's happened. It's a perfect hat-trick he said there. He's got one with the right foot, one with the left foot, one with the head. He's got a double hat-trick. It's six goals in a game for Luke McCormick. What a message he is sending. Looks over the top. McCormick using his pace, getting in, and he has seven. Oh, my God. Luke McCormick, it's his first seven goals of the season, and they've all come in one game. This is incredible. Wonderful, wonderful chest control. Good finish. I honestly, I, I don't know what to say because this is probably the best individual performance you're going to see in the series. He's won it back again off from Furlong McCormick. It's the Luke McCormick show here. He's What a run. Couldn't really get it on target, but man, is he on fire. Johnny Smith getting past his man. He skinned him. Can he find a cross? He can, and McCormick at the near post again has beaten the keeper to it. It's eight. Eight for Luke McCormick in one goal. He has scored all eight of White Leafs goal tonight. I mean, we top, we, we're going back top of the table. This is going to do wonders for our goal difference, but he has scored eight. Wow. Maradona's free kick. We're not going to get nine, are we? He's not going to get nine, is he? Evans, Maradona, loses out. Great tackle by Spalding, apparently. And here's Harris. Harris on the left. Maradona getting back at him. Wiltshire now in the middle. Canola. Harris. Maradona intercepts and Evans can lead a counter attack. Rooney, five minutes to go here. Maradona on the right, taking on his full back again and beating his full back with ease. Spalding left on the floor. Maradona's low cross. McCormick's volley. It's nine. It's nine. Luca McCormick has scored nine goals in one game. Oh my god. I mean, it's, it's like the fourth one that's happened like that. It's awful defending from them. Wow. Luke McCormick has scored nine goals in one game. I know I've said that a few times, but wow. There's, there's still 20 seconds left. He's not going to get 10, is he? Rooney to Jones. Rooney. Oh, just play it out. Have some sympathy for them. Evans to Maradona. Maradona to McCormick. And it's hacked away for a corner, but that should be it. Put them out of their misery. Referee, there it is. What a result. Whiteleaf, nine.
Burgess Hill 2. I'm just going to sort of sit here and, I mean, it, it's not, it's not going to get better than this in any game, is it? Let's be honest. Maybe I'm just a perfectionist, but it's kind of annoying that we conceded two goals. Yeah, we scored nine. We've won the game. But why do we concede two goals, maybe? Two silly goals to concede as well. Okay, then, game two of the episode, and this is the big one. The FA Cup third qualifying round. We're playing Stockport County. Probably the biggest turn in the draw that we could have been given, and we got them, of course. In terms of team news, after his nine-goal haul the other day, Luke McCormick isn't playing. I made the mistake of having him playing for the reserves quite a lot this season to get game time. Didn't realise the reserves also had a game today so he's already been involved in the game which means he can't play here. Oh well, you know, just a replacement of Danny Boy. Maradona keeps his place on the right wing after a super performance. Johnny Smith on the left. That front three um, should cause damage hopefully. Price, Rooney and Jones are the midfield three as per usual. And then defence, Pasley, Parrish, Waddle and Leahy. Jordan Smith comes back in as well. Okay, I should say, obviously with the third qualifying round, there's one more qualifying round after that, which was our minimum expectation this season. And then if we get through that as well, it would mean a first round spot, which would be superb. And possibly TV, possibly big teams. Here's Maradona on the right. It's an early chance and Danny Boy has scored inside 30 seconds. This could be the best episode we have ever had. Maybe Danny Boy was watching McCormick's performance going, anything you can do, mate, I can do better. If he scores 10 goals in this game, I've won Football Manager, you know, so far. Price is free kick. Maradona again on the right, the danger man, it seems. Crosses it in and there's Rooney at the back post. It's 2-0. Nathan Rooney's first of the season. His first goal since winning the league for us at the end of last season. And it's Maradona again involved. You know what, I gave him a chance in the last game. Waller Lesson has played very well so far, but I gave him a chance and Maradona is returning with absolute precision from those crosses. It's 2-0, 2 from Maradona, 2 assists from Maradona. Wonderful. Half-time, fast approaching, but Maradona's on a run again. Into Danny Boy on the turn and we hit the post. Hinchcliffe with a good save. Hinch, he lit with a good save maybe? There it is then, half-time whistle goes, it's one of a wonderful performance again, dominating performance, Danny Boyle on the score sheet, Nathan Price also 2-2 two. Two assists for Diego Maradona. Um, don't get complacent. The players always like that, like, you know what Ross, you're alright, we're playing very well, but you know you've got your head screwed on there, I like that. Price, Rooney again, looking wide for Smith on the left side, back to Jones, good football from Whiteley. Price, Rooney, the midfield trio working together again. That's a poor pass to Danny Boy from Price. So an arrow Smith can whack it upfield. It's come back again and now Maradona's got it. Diego Maradona taking his man on. He's backed off from him. Maradona's cross and Danny Boy's header makes it 3-0 to Whiteleaf. It's his 17th goal of the season already. He's doing the business once again. And it's Maradona, the man, who is absolutely tearing Stockport County apart. We are 3-0 up over a side that are in a higher division, that have got a higher reputation, they're a much bigger club in England, and we are absolutely cruising. Price's free kick. Oh, it's 4-0. It's 4-0. Anthony Price, the man on loan from Leicester, the man who started the career with us. It's, it's, it's a brilliant free kick. What, 40 yards? Curler? Well, it's more of a scoop. That was brilliant from Price. Goalkeeper stood no chance. It's 4-0. Honestly, we have just hit an absolute run of form. We are unstoppable, it seems, at the moment. Maradona on the right. He's just going to take his man on again. He says, thank you very much. He's skipped past Penny. He's found a cross. And there's Danny Boy's hat-trick in off the post. Maradona is doing the absolute business. Payne's free kick. Are they going to pull a goal back? Please don't pull a goal back. That would be stupid. Danny Boy wins it back. Doing some defending. Maradona to Jones. Jones on to Danny Boy, plenty of space for the Pacey striker to get away. He's gone back to Lee here. It's across Maradona might be able to get it on it. And Hinch he lift has the ball in his hand. I was hoping Maradona would get a goal there. Not not to be at the moment. The highlight's still going now, Pastley. 
Christ with him. Now wide for Maradona, and once again, he's just going to take his man on. He's going to beat his man. He's going to cross, and it's Danny Boyd at the near post. It's 6 0. It's 4 for Danny Boyd. This has been the best episode I think I could ever think to record. A 9 2 win, and at the moment, it's another 6 0 at the moment. Maradona's fifth assist. Wow. Wow. I think I should just call this episode Wow. So, all I've managed to say is that the performances have been outstanding. Full time whistle at Church Road. That is perhaps the most pleasing performance we have had. Even more even more pleasing than the last one because we haven't conceded either. It's against a much better side. It's White League 6, Stockport County nil. And with that win, we are into the fourth qualifying round, so we'll end the episode with the draw. And as you can see, there's some pretty big teams in there. Tranmere Rovers, Accrington Stanley. You know, could be a decent tie here. Although if we get an easier one, we could be into the first round. So let's see how that goes. And 76 teams left to draw. This is going to be a long one. So, Mr. Register Man, you know the drill. Skip away till when we come out. Well, that was quick. So quick, in fact, I don't have a reaction because we are the first tie out of the hat. Avely away. Hmm, okay. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so Avely has sat fifth in the Ryman League South Division 1. So they are below us in the pyramid. The first real game that we're going to play in this series of that nature. So it's a pretty good draw, actually. And the first round of the FA Cup could be waiting. I'm going to play some games ahead, um, particularly that game against Avery. I'm going to get past that. We'll see what the first round draw, if we get through, pops up with. Until then, from me to you, goodbye.